So I'm gonna go ahead and challenge you and then we can sort of see what openings we play and we can talk about them a bit. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> what even is this rating? Good Lord, I've never even seen this rating. Wait, what? What's happened with my rating? Yeah. This is not my rating. Oh, this is rapid rating. Okay. okay. <laughs> I was like, shoot, I thought we were on road to 2000. Why are we doing rated? You're just gonna destroy my rating. I'll just get you to, you can farm me to 1900 on this. <laughs> <laughs> No, we don't have to do rating. I read. I didn't see that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um. All right. Okay, so you play D4 as well. Yeah, I mean, I I switch between D4 and E4. Okay. Um, a lot more theory on E4 though. Uh, but okay, let's play Knight F6. I typically play the name. So if you play C4, now maybe you won't. Okay, you will play C4. All right. Six. And knight there. Okay. I actually don't really know this name so with uh, the name so so well, but um, I sort of like it. You get your pieces out quickly. So yeah. that's something. And I, yeah, b6 to play bishop b7 and open up the diagonal. Right? And yeah, here the idea is that I can take here. Right, and then I... Oh shoot, I dropped that pawn now. I guess I was supposed to have my bishop out first. So that's also the idea with b7, to play bishop b7 and try to prevent an e4, because if you're able to play e4 in a good condition and you can just push e5 or d5, then white is just better. So it's right. important for black to, to think about that. I'm gonna grab your bishop. Okay. Okay, you're bringing the knight out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Oh right. boy, that's not fun. <laughs> okay, Queenie two. They're saying that that you're really stressed right now. Is that true? I mean, I'm not in a, a good position. <laughs> <laughs> Down that's a pond with poor, with poor, poor positioning. So it's okay. Uh, awesome. And great to see you, Moyan. I'm happy about that. Now it's going to be easier also to talk to a chat because now it's not, they're not a bunch of little things killing me all the time. <laughs> <clears throat> You've played chess, we haven't played chess for real. Here and there to pass the time. Yeah, but Archer, that's a really good thing. That's a really good ch thing. Chess is definitely one of those things that. Uh, are really fun to play with someone. So it's definitely, that's one of the nice nice things about chess as well, that you can connect with someone and, and play it and you know, pass your time as well. And you can either do that with Blitz, so that a bunch of stuff are happening, or just play a rapid game like we're doing now. Ooh, I wanna place a pin there. Do this, to pin, pin this knight. Woo, go ahead and do that. Ooh, look at this pin. You're not scared with about the bishop here on the diagonal and your king. I mean, yeah, I pinned my knight, but otherwise you have a two on one on my knight and I can't do anything. <laughs> okay, That's I'm not gonna be pay. scared either. I'm gonna go ahead and play this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh... You're gonna stop my g4 here, which I really wanted to play. 
Oh, is this gonna be? No, I'm, I'm not gonna. I, I wanna play h5, but I think it's too much. I think that would be too much. So I'm not gonna do that to myself. Yeah, my bishop is just in a bad spot. I think I need to get it out so I can actually start doing stuff with it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know. I wanna play h5, but I don't think it's a good move. Positionally, it's a horrible move. So I'm not sure if I should do that. Or not. <clears throat> I mean, the problem is, yeah, I can try to like advance this one, but then she just has that, right? And then we're just screwed. Um, let's get this. Take with the bishop, so I still have this pin. I don't like that. Okay. Be gone, pin. I don't like Oh, that was stupid of me. Why did I play g5? That move sucks now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> it really sucks. It's just a horrible pawn, which is going to stay horrible for the whole game. <laughs> uh, I think it's a great pawn. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do. Um, all right. So how can we make this less horrible? Hmm. I don't think we can. All right, let's just take here. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure. Okay, you're taking back, and I'm going to try to do something cool here. I don't like that. What cool move do you have? <laughs> I'm clearly stupid. I don't see it. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here and put some pressure there. not cool. And that's the only thing I can do. Really, that makes sense. I was scared okay. that you could play before queen d2, but then I could just take on f3, so. Yeah, then you just take it, right? Yeah. Just grab the piece. So that's the idea. So you can't play any queen e3 or queen d2, annoying my horrible pawn on g5. Right. Oh no, G5, what a bad example for beginners to say. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> don't play G5, don't try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting to see how different cooperative and competitive games can be taught so much lessons to teach someone to be just something. Akermit, okay, no, but I think it's, um, yeah, no, that definitely makes sense what you're saying, yeah. It's actually really interesting, but I think that, um, it's just good to talk about the moves and what and what what you're doing and stuff. But yeah, you're totally right. It's it's weird. Also, I like this move for you that you made. I don't like this for me. Thank you. Because mm. if I take now with the knight, then you can just take with anything because it doesn't really matter. Right. And if I don't take with the knight, then then I don't know what's happening. Right, I'm just gonna take. So now the question becomes pawn or queen and go for the trade. Obviously I am down a pawn, so trading's probably not the best. I feel like pawn is better because then I still just apply pressure to your queen and force you to move again. But that could be poor logic. Queen applies pressure to your queen, but offers you a trade. Also, do you maybe want to analyze the games after? We can maybe look yeah. at them. If there's yeah, any yeah. game we want to look at. I think that's... You're going to take with the pawn. I'm going to go ahead and go to c3 to have a little bit of pressure here on your king. And also, you can't play any rook c1, getting my yeah, beautiful that's what rook. I wanted to do. I really wanted to do that last turn, but I had to take him first and stuff. Um... You're running with your king. I mean, I have to. You're going to check me next turn. And so I either do it on a force check or do it on my own accord, I guess. I mean, is it better, do you think, to wait to be checked before making that move? No, I mean... 
No, I don't think it really matters. You're gonna have to play at one point or another. Right. Especially because I think that I'm gonna play d4 here now. I think so, because I don't like your queen getting to some places. And with the d4 move, it makes it a bit harder yeah. if I move my rook. But let's see, maybe I need to play something else. Yeah, I'm gonna play rook e8 first, just so you don't have e6 at some point. That was a bit annoying. At some point, maybe. <laughs> Chess is back here! Hi, Chess! With some jokes. I don't know what the joke was, but that was a good joke, apparently. So, great, Chess. Hi! <laughs> oh, a, a joke from Mert. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you see now my pawn on d5 on g5 sorry <laughs> is now we're seeing the problems with the pawn getting to g5 i'm gonna play h6 and just hope that there's nothing here i hate my oh. joke my 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 pawn <laughs> not my joke my pawn <laughs> Yeah, I don't like that. But I think that I'm gonna go ahead and play d4 with a little, well, yeah. Ooh, a little flare on that. Yeah? You don't wanna take it, or maybe you do. So yeah, so now the idea is that if, if queen takes d4, then we can take the rook here. And if they, or if he takes down c3, then we take with the pawn. And then we got a little nice pass pawn here. Maybe we can play some queen here, attack here, and do a bunch of cool stuff. So that's the idea, guys. That's the idea. Let's see if he takes here. Otherwise... H... H5! H4! Wow! Might be terrible, but... You were right when you said that you weren't scared. Oh. <laughs> um. Hmm. So, I mean... I would like to mate you somehow after taking there, but I don't see any checks. So that might be hard. I think I'm gonna play G4. Yeah, I was a bit scared there. I was a bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. That's the, that seems like the right move. Because if I, yeah, my king was more unsafe than yours, I think. I'm not sure though, maybe it wasn't. But okay. But yeah, exactly, with g4 you can't jump, it's not, no. No, he can't. Um, but the reason why I played g4 is simply because I thought that at some point there he could be taking here, for instance, after rook check, I'm a king on h8. He could be taking here if he, for instance, played e6 or something. And then my rook would be hanging, maybe. So I just thought it was a bit scary. I didn't like that. And now maybe I can play some other moves. Maybe I can start attacking this pawn because there is not really... Ooh! Ooh, we're gonna be able to take the pawn! Yeah, rip pawny. I'm in a, a rough spot. I can't move anything. <laughs> yeah, I promise here that if I take the pawn, then he's gonna take here. Because if I take, 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 he can take here. That could be a bit of an issue. I think. Maybe. Hmm. There, there. There, there. Yeah, I don't even think it's good to take the pawn. What do we do then? Because he takes some d4. Okay. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna go here. <gasps> pawn on h6. Bye bye. Pawn on h6. Bye bye. Pawn on h6. Bye bye. Let's say that we have some compensation here. Let's say we have a compensation here. Oh my. Pawn h6, bye bye. Okay, question is, question is if we wanna, 
Um, question is if we want to take you on passant. Here we can take on passant, actually. Question is if we want to do it. I think we do. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, the idea with rook d8 was the fact that if I, uh, why I didn't play rook d8 was because if you take, then I need to take with the queen instead of the pawn, and I sort of wanted to take with the pawn, uh, as the rook would be hanging. Now you're taking my pawn on h6. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm gonna check. Wow, that's so mean. Oh, that was... Eh, it's fine. Hmm. All right, now I really want to play something like this, but then there is this move. Then there is that move. I don't know how that is. Check there, check, and then here, yeah? I think I'm gonna take here. <clears throat> oh, you're not taking back. Okay. He's not taking back. He doesn't want to take back. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna check. Actually, gonna check here. There's a little trick here. I'm gonna check, and if he goes here, then I'm going to go here. Okay, no, he's not going there. Let's check here then. Let's see. Can we mate? Can we mate? we can yeah I'm gonna start off by taking here just so we can take with check instead because I don't want him to play queen g5 check here I don't think take Ugh, brutal yeah I should have just taken your rook I figured I had to just rush to some sort of mate position because I was low on time and maybe I could do something, but obviously taking the rook was the better play. Yeah, I was a bit scared that you would have some queen g5 check at some point. I wasn't sure. Yeah, I was, try I was trying for it, but I was constantly in check. And then I should have just taken you to check when you took my rook or when you, you made one move or you didn't check me and I should have just put you in check and then just tried to continue check you until the end or something. 